guys welcome back to the channel you've seen the title of the video already you know what it's all about before i give you my top six there are a couple of things i want to mention first of all i have decided to go with top six as opposed to the conventional uh, top 10 or top 15 because i truly believe that these are the six absolutely vital plugins your woocommerce store needs now on the official woocommerce extensions page you can see we have over 800 extensions and they all offer different degrees of functionality and design options for your store but in my humble opinion the six i'm about to mention are the absolute top six the non-negotiable top six without any of these plugins you're definitely missing out on some key functionality on your store the second thing I want to mention is that this particular video isn't necessarily about the plugins themselves. It's more about the functionalities that the plugins provide. Now, the reason why I'm saying it is because all the plugins I'm going to mention in here, they're all premium plugins. None of them are free and some of them are quite expensive. I don't want to discourage you. If you find any of the plugins being a bit too expensive to afford, look for cheaper alternatives because the most important thing is that you have those functionalities that these plugins provide on your store. I have gone with the six plugins because I believe they are the best in the category of functionalities that they offer compared to other similar plugins. So with that out of the way, one more thing I want to mention before I give the list is that if you're interested in buying any one of these plugins, I am an affiliate for WooCommerce. I will have my affiliate links in the box below. What this means is that if you feel encouraged to buy any of the plugins and you buy those plugins using my links in the box below, I will get a small commission. It's a way to support me and support what I'm doing here on the channel. So thank you so much for your support. So with that out of the way, let me now give you my top six plugins your WooCommerce store needs. So the first plugin on this list, and by the way, this list isn't in any particular order. However, if I had to choose just one plugin out of this top six, that plugin is going to be the Stripe plugin. Now, the reason is very, very simple. It offers an alternative method of payment to your customers. Now, with WooCommerce, the default payment method is typically PayPal. Now, even though PayPal is very, very, very popular, there are a lot of countries, especially in the second and third world parts of the world, where customers are not able to access PayPal. They are unable to create accounts on PayPal. PayPal doesn't work in those countries. So if your store ships internationally, you sell internationally, you could be missing out on potentially millions of customers. So you want to offer as many alternative methods of payments to your customers. And Stripe, in my humble opinion, is the best alternative to PayPal. You definitely need Stripe on your store. The second plugin on this list is going to be the Checkout Field Editor. And listen, your customers have already added items to their cart. They're on the checkout page. You want to make sure that the checkout process is as seamless and as efficient as possible because studies have actually shown that many customers at the very final stage at that checkout process, that's where they decide to, you know what, they change their mind. They think, you know what, I'm going to buy this product elsewhere or let me think a little bit more about it. Let me check another site. I'll do it tomorrow. So you want to eliminate that as much as possible. You want to make the checkout process as seamless as possible. And one of the best ways is to remove fields that are not necessary. Now, let me show you the default checkout page for WooCommerce. There are a lot of fields in here that might be unnecessary. First of all, we have the company name field. Now, even though it's optional, it still looks very, very bulky and it's completely unnecessary. You want to remove that field. Also, if you are shipping only digital products via email, obviously, you're not going to need this particular physical uh, street address fields, right? It doesn't make any sense. You're selling uh, digital products or virtual products. Why do you need the address field in here? Also, even if you are selling physical products, but you are not selling internationally, you are only selling within your own country, then the country region field in here is going to be completely unnecessary. There is also the phone number field as well. How many WooCommerce stores or e-commerce stores online do you see where they ask you for your phone number before you check out? There are a lot of customers who might get turned off because you are asking them for your phone number. They're thinking, why will this company need my phone number when they already have my address? They have my email address. Why do they need my phone number? So I would recommend that you remove any unnecessary fields and make this checkout process as seamless as possible. Now, the best plugin for this, in my humble opinion, is the checkout field editor. With this plugin, 
you can remove any unnecessary fields. You can choose to add your own custom fields that might be important for your checkout process and you can also modify existing fields that already come with WooCommerce. So definitely you want to install this plugin on your WooCommerce store. The third plugin on this list is going to be the shipping tracking plugin. And listen, one of the most annoying things about WooCommerce is that by default, even though WooCommerce offers you the ability to create shipping zones and shipping methods and shipping classes, you cannot offer your customers a feature where they can actually track the shipment of their products, which I find to be very, very annoying. You need a plugin for that. However, the functionality itself, offering your customers the ability to track the shipment of the products that they've paid for is absolutely vital. Imagine you as a customer, you go to a store, you pay for the product, you get an email saying, okay, they've gotten uh, the payment and your product will be shipped to you, but then there's no way for you to track the shipment of your product. That could be very, very discouraging. And it might even prevent you from buying from that same store in the future. So offering your customers the ability to track the shipment of the products that they've paid for is a great way to build trust because keep in mind that sometimes your customers, they may need the product as urgently as possible. Maybe it's their wedding anniversary coming up. Maybe uh, it's the birthday of one of their friends. So they would want to get updates as often as possible. And with this plugin, you can provide such updates to your customers. You can let them know that the product has been processed. You can let them know that shipment has been processed already, things like that. And also the plugin covers all major providers like DHL, uh, TNT, FedEx, and so on. With this plugin, it's got you covered. It'll provide you with the best ability to provide your customers the ability to keep track of the shipment of the products that they've bought on your store. Definitely check out Shipment Tracking by WooCommerce. Plugin number four on this list is going to be the Ultimate Woo plugin by WooCommerce. And one of the most effective ways on how you can increase the functionality of your store is going to be through the process of automation. And this is the best plugin for automation. Now, when I say automation, what exactly am I talking about? You're going to need three major components for your automation to work. You will have what we call a trigger, which is basically an event happening on your store. So let's say, for example, payment has been made on a product or an order has been paid for. Then you're going to need the rules. There will also be setting conditions that need to be satisfied before the action takes place. So the rules in this case could be something like the customer needs to spend a minimum of a certain amount of money or a maximum amount of money. So they've made the order, they've spent the minimum amount of money required, and now you will have the action, which, which could be anything like sending an email to the customer, thanking them for ordering your product. You could even send an email, maybe like a week later on, advertising another product that goes well with the one that they bought. So this is an extremely powerful plugin for automation. There are so many things you could do with the plugin. You could decide to send emails to your customers on their birthdays through automation. Maybe they bought a particular product. You could decide to send follow-up emails to them like a week later asking for their feedback, asking them to leave a written review, and maybe even offering a discount for another product on your store. And you can look at the features right here, follow-up emails, and perhaps one of the most important features, the abandoned cart. Listen, how many times have you added items to your shopping cart and then you change your mind, you go away, and then maybe a few hours later or the next day, you receive an email from that same store saying, hey, we noticed that you left something in your cart, you know, uh, do you want to complete the checkout process? And then you choose not to do anything and maybe a day Later again, you get another email from that same company offering you like a 10% discount just to try to encourage you to finalize the checkout process. You can do so with this plugin. The abandoned cart feature is one of the most important features in here because you can recover so many lost sales. There are so many customers that will come to your store. They will add items to their cart. They will change their mind at the very last uh, second. You can send follow-up emails to them saying, hey, you know, we noticed that you left these items in your cart. How about we offer you a 10% discount or a 15% discount, things like that, just to encourage them to complete the checkout process. You can do so with the plugin. You can do other things like SMS notifications. You can review rewards, send emails on their birthdays, things like that. So this is an all-in-one, extremely powerful plugin for automation. And I actually do plan to make a full tutorial on how to make use of this plugin. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and watch out for the, uh, for the tutorial in the future. 
but definitely you need automation in your store. And this plugin right here is the best for automating your WooCommerce store. Next plugin is going to be the Smart Coupons plugin by Store Apps. And I actually just recently made a full tutorial on how to use this plugin. Be sure to check it out. The reason why this plugin has made this list is because coupons have always been one of the most powerful marketing tools at your disposal as a store owner. You can create coupons offering discounts to your customers. You can create special offers like buy one, get one free, or buy one, get a discount on another product. You can do all these kinds of things with the smart coupons plugin. You can also create gift cards, gift certificates. You can send store credits to your customers as well using the Smart Coupons plugin. I know there are a lot of plugins out there that offer similar kinds of functionalities, but trust me when I say that this is the absolute best plugin for coupons. And even though it's quite expensive, it's $199, it is worth every penny. If you don't believe me, be sure to check out the tutorial that I just uploaded a few days ago where I talk about how to make use of this plugin because it is freaking powerful. All right, so the final plugin on this list is going to be the WooCommerce Smart Refunder by Store Apps. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, refunds, we don't like refunds. Yes, no store manager, no business owner likes refunds. However, these are a necessary evil for your store because no matter how wonderful your products are, no matter how wonderful your service is, you're always going to have customers who might not be happy. They might want a refund for one reason or the other. And one of the best ways to gain credibility and trust with your customers is to make sure that the refund process is as simple and as efficient as possible. So with the WooCommerce Smart Refunder plugin, you can offer different types of refunds to your customers. You can give them the ability to request a refund via a form on their My Account page. They can get instant refunds. You can offer refunds in terms of like store credits and even your customers, they, they can request for either full or maybe even partial refunds. So it is a very, very, very flexible and a very, very powerful plugin for making the refund process as seamless as possible. I know refunds are not good news for any store manager or any business owner, but they're going to happen to you eventually one way or the other. And you want to make sure that you have an efficient process for handling refunds. And this plugin, my humble op opinion, is the best plugin for handling refunds on your WooCommerce store. So there it is, guys. My top six must-have plugins for your WooCommerce store. What did you think about this list? Are there any plugins that you think should have made this list? Are there plugins that you feel I may have ignored that are also just as important as the six I've mentioned in here? What do you think about the list? I'd love to hear your comments below. Put them down in the comment section below. And once again, if you do decide to buy any one of these plugins, please do make use of my affiliate links in the box below. Thanks so much for your support. If you have any other general comments or questions about any of these plugins or anything WooCommerce related, be sure to put them down in the comment section below and I will answer them as quickly as possible. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Share the video with anyone who may feel may benefit from it. And of course, if you're new here to the channel, welcome. My name is Alex. I make videos around WordPress and WooCommerce. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new tutorial. So stay safe out there and I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.